Hello students, in this video we are going to see first term of a cone. So, so this is the first time you are hearing the word first term of a cone. So, it is a shape. So, if we cut it is a familiar shape for all of us. Um, if we cut a cone, cone we are all familiar with the cone. If we cut the cone into two parts horizontally. Uh, we will get a smaller cone and the one more part will be like a, a bucket shaped cone. That shape is called a frustum of a cone. Okay, see here, this is the shape of frustum of a cone. It looks like a bucket. Okay, okay. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to find the volume of frustum of a cone. So, see here. There is a cone. There is a cone. It is a very big cone. This is capital R and the height of the cone is capital H. Okay. The entire height is capital H. This is capital R. See here, capital R, then capital H. So, if we cut this cone here, if you are cutting this cone here, we will get a small cone here, then one part will be a frustum of a cone. Okay. So, this radius will be smaller than this radius so we can take it as small r this height must be smaller than this the, this height must be smaller than this height so we are going to in this problem we, uh, in this video we are going to find the volume of this area so we can take it as this height as h we can take this height height of the frustum of a cone is h then this must be h minus h because the entire height this is small h this is because so this is total length minus this length ok clear. So, first let us take um, here r is uh, here capital R small r h capital h h minus r everything is there. So, we are going to use one uh, similarity condition here see here first I am going to take the big triangle I will take it here this is capital R this is capital H okay this is capital R capital H I, here I have taken the big triangle then here the smaller this triangle ok this is smaller this is h minus h ok clear the bigger triangle this one then this triangle so in the both the triangle the here it will be 90 here also it will be 90 this is common angle for both the triangle in the angle one the in the triangle ko, in the angle, in the period triangle ko, in the angle. So, this angle will be a common angle. So, definitely it must be a similar triangle. Rend angle equal on the third angle and if, we, if any two angles of a triangle are equal, then the third angle must be, third angles must be equal. Okay. So, these two triangles are similar triangle. So, in similar triangle, the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So, see here I am going to use a similarity condition h minus h is corresponding to this h is equal to the small r is corresponding to capital R. So, now we can do the cross multiplication r into h minus h h r ok cross multiplication then multiply rh minus rh 
which is equal to H R. Okay. Then here R H this minus H R. This plus H R becomes minus H R. इधर इंगित पाऊँ बोले minus term becomes positive, negative becomes positive plus R H. Okay. Here H is common factor for both the term. So R minus R is equal to R H. Therefore H is equal to R H by R minus R. Okay. Now we will come to the volume. So you understood. Just we have drawn the diagram. We represent the different. Uh, Uh, radius and the height using variables then we have applied the similarity condition of triangle now we have to find the volume of this area this solid in the solid oda volume na namu kandupidikan so to find the volume of first term of a cone volume of first term of a cone is equal to volume of bigger cone minus volume of smaller cone the entire cone la from this entire cone If we remove this smaller cone, we will get the first term of a cone. Of cone. So, the volume of first term of a cone, the volume of first term of a cone is equal to volume of the bigger cone minus volume of a smaller cone. Clear? Okay. So, volume. What is the formula to find the volume of a cone? One by three by r square. H, one by three by r square H. So one by three pi, because of bigger cone we have taken bigger bigger H and R. Okay, minus one by three pi radius of the smaller cone R square height of the smaller cone small H quarter quarter the height of the smaller cone is H minus H. Okay, then we will simplify now. One by three is one by three pi is common for both the terms. One by three pi into this is r square h minus r square h. What is the value of h? Ah, so let we can substitute in the next term. Otherwise, we will be confused. R h square r square h. So one by three pi is already taken. R square h minus h. So one by three pi into r square h value. R h by r minus r. Capital h or the value here. I can't do it so simple. Just we are substituting that value here. Minus R square into H capital H R H by R minus R minus H. Okay, this two lines up to capital H or the value substitute. That's all. Next, we are going to simplify. So, just we can multiply R square into R R cube H by R minus R, we have multiplied by <coughs> R square into. We have to do the cross multiplication because here minus. So R H minus H into R minus R by R minus. R. Okay, clear. <coughs> One by three pi. 
R cube R cube H minus R square into R H plus into minus minus H R minus into minus plus H R by R minus R because here R minus R is same so if the denominators are same we can write it as a common denominator 1 by 3 pi into or we can write it as pi by 3 1 by 3 into pi is equal to pi by 3 so r cube h minus what are the common terms in this r square h is common factor for all the terms so we can take it as as h as a common factor r otherwise we can do here cuts as a common factor we can take r minus then just we can multiply minus inside well the simplification method is you can do by your own not necessary to stick with my own method so r into r minus r plus r by r minus r so plus r minus r will be cancelled 1 by 5 by 3 into r cube h minus here r square h into r will come so into r that can be written as r cube by r minus r clear r square h is cancel h so r matram r square into r r cube h okay then what are the common terms are here h is a common factor so we can take it as pi h by 3 into r cube minus r cube by r minus r okay in the next step we are going to finalize the formula okay see a cube minus a cube minus b cube can be written as a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square so similar identities as the same identity we are going to use here pi h by 3 pi h by 3 r cube minus r cube r minus r into r square plus r r plus r square by r minus r this r minus r will be cancelled so the final formula is pi h by 3 into r square plus r r plus r square so here all these terms are addition so r square plus r square plus r r that is also correct so this is the cubic unit Warm, this is the formula to find the volume of a frustum of a cone so they have to if you want to find the volume of a frustum of a cone we need three datas from the frustum of a cone one is capital R then small r then the height uh, so uh, in in the question they may ask us to find the volume of a find the volume of a bucket whose height is 20 find the volume of a bucket find the volume of a bucket whose height is 28 meter and the radius of radius of the two uh, radius of the top uh, top circle is 14 centimeter to 14 height 28 centimeter this is 14 centimeter and the base radius is 8 centimeter 
if they are giving like this. So, what are the datas? This is H, this is capital R, big radius, smaller radius, smaller. So, we have to write this formula, we have to substitute the value of H, R and capital R's and small r's here. So, then we can we have to simplify, then we will get the answer. So, very simple way. So, we have to know how the formula came. So, we should not mug up the formula, we should not just mug up the formula. We, we have to keep the formulas in our mind, at the same time we have to work out and we have to, we should be able to understand how the formula came. So, we have to be clear, okay. Sometimes they will give the volume, they will not give the height or they will not give any one of the radius. So, we have to write this formula, then volume they will give, we have to write the volume, then we have to substitute the different values, unknown value capital R, small r, they will give, they will not give any one of the variable if they are giving the volume. So, we have to simplify when we have to find the unknown value of the variable, whether height or capital R or small r, okay. Clear volume of a uh, prism of a cone, very simple, very simple concept. So, this formula you have to keep it in your mind, okay. Volume of a cone is pi h by 3 into r square plus r square plus r h. So, th this terms may be we can in the moon term addition larkanala the younger one and the no problem. Sariya. Otherwise, we can write it as 1 by 3 into pi h into similarly we can write like that also we can write this formula. Okay. But this is the concept of the formula. Okay. Clear? Thank you.